A. So we are going to focus on lecture two of of diversity of animals and plants. So we are going to look at the algae today. And you, you guys, you, uh, we we made an agreement that a plant will be teaching it mainly online alone, while animal I will be teaching it physical because we are going to cover animal first the first semester the first part of the semester two at the University of Botswana. So this course is going to cover algae. So it's going to cover an algae. It's going to cover an algae. So algae refer to a wide range of simple oxygen producing photosynthetic organism. So this simple uh, oxygen producing photosynthetic organism they are called algae. So some algae are in a prokaryotic form. When you say something is in a, in a prokaryotic form, pro means before, karyotic means nucleus. So some algae they have the nucleus, some algae don't have the nucleus. Actually, it is believed that Mr. Algae is the Mr. which serve the world. We talked about the cyanobacteria in animals. He said that in animals, animals were in the sea where oxygen was shorting and a bacteria came and that bacteria began to photosynthesize. And when after the bacteria photosynthesized, oxygen was there and ozone were, were made. Scientists believe that alga is one of the is one of the those organisms which first came up with the ability to produce photosynthesis. Actually, we're going to talk about the different types of algae which is there. Algae one, two, and like the algae which are there. I, I'm, I'm not saying algae one, two, three. So I mean the four, the three to four classes of algae which are there. So there are also the algae. Are most of the time, we say they're important in the plant evolution. They are important in the plant evolution. The same way where we talked about the colonial. Uh, the volvox and we talk about the, those flagellates the, the phala mastigophora we talk about the protozoans which are key in the in in in, in evolution of of animals when you talk about the sensational theory and the, in the animal we talk about the sensational theory we talk about kernel theory although these things link but when we talk about plants most of the time oh if, even i know the sensation I know the sensational and the, and and the also the colonial theory. They they also explain they explain how plants were 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 formed. They they explain how plants were formed. But algae goes into details into plants into detail into plants. So what are the main features of algae? Their body is not specialized into root stem or system. Algae is a, is a form of a plant. You see, a algae will be drawing an algae in labs. It's a form of a plant, but in that plant is not specialized because the moment it begin it begin to specialize into root, stem, and leaves, it means now it becomes a plant. But because it's an algae, their bodies they are not specialized at all. So the photosynthesis occur in the body called the thallus, and attachment by uh, rhizoids root like structures so you need to know how to label the structures of an algae because we are going to draw them in in, in the labs they are the tilers the tilers these are part it means because it carries photosynthesis it's going to be a leaf like yes algae they resemble plants some of you you all you saw algae as a plant but they're not plants they're algae because they also have the the tilers, the rhizoids, so the rhizoids are root-like structures. The, the other thing about algae, it's special al special feature of algae, which you can differentiate from plants, is that they don't form embryos. They don't form embryos, but plants, they form embryos. So, gametes fuse in open water, and the zygote develops into a new plant with that embryo stage. So, algae, after gametes meet, they don't wait for tomorrow. They just upright abrupt into a into a into a new plant without them going through the devo developmental stages where we believe that all animals are like that and all plants they, they follow these uh, developmental uh, stages but they don't they don't why because they don't share our ancestor we plants and animals we share our ancestor we know that our ancestor these are the protozoans i hope you know that our ancestors are the protozoans and we are convinced about our ancestors and we know 
for sure that our ancestors are the protozoans. Kanajang. So, the reproductive structures are not protected. Gametes are produced within a single cell. They are not protected by a sterile envelope or a cover as in plants. You know, in a plant, the gametes are protected. The gametes are protected. They, 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 they are protected. So, they are protected inside the ovary and all other structures. But the algae, they are not protected. So, these are the features of an algae which make it, you know, which make it different from plants. They are not plants. Because you can't say there are plants well, they don't have leaves. They carry photosynthesis in the thalus. You can say this organism are plants well, their attachment is by rhizoids. You can say that these organisms are plants while they don't form embryos. You can say these organisms are plants without them having a word, having a zygote. You can say that, I mean, a, an embryo. You can say that they are, they are plants. So, you can say these organisms are, uh, so I'm sorry for that, I was disturbed. So, you can say these organisms are, are plants. So, they don't even have, the gametes are just in a single cell. They are not even protected. Like, everything is just there. Everything is there because it's just in everything. Everything is there because it's just in everything. So, let us move on. So, where are they found? Why are they fine? So most of most are aquatic. The word aquatic means watery or related to water. So we, when we talk about aquatic plants, we know that aquatic aquatic plants. These are plants which are related to water. So they can be found in marine. Marine it it means salt water. The marine salt water. So they they, they might they might be found in salt water, or they they also might be found in fresh waters. They also might be found in fresh waters. So, some of them, they can be floating or planktonic, phytoplankton, yeah, floating structures. Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton, these are algae. Algae. I don't know how to spell it. I mean, you pronounce it. Algae, algae. The algae. Algae. So, you can, there are some which are found in the floating structures. And, some are attached to objects, are benthic. benthic. Most of the algas which you guys know. Have you ever seen something in water? It might be green, like green in water. So when you find them on top of water, and they, they, like they will make water to be dirty sometimes. Like parents will say, don't play in those water. This water is dirty it's because of the algae. So, but some algae you can find, they can be testosterone in wet source. Like, especially when the soil in that environment is wet, you will see some plants, plants having a green structure, like maybe it, maybe the plant is infested with some disease. No, no, that would be, that would be algae. In terms of way, it is an algae, but you know, plants is also have some disease of plants which will cover them when you are, when you, when you are at Buan, you cover about these diseases of plants. And we'll go into details how to cure them and how to, to. But this terrestrial algae, terrestrial, I know it means just the outside, but the terrestrial should be the, like where there's a wet soil, like most, most into districts like 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 a chobe where you see like most, like most of the soils in water banks or near water banks, you see that this these soils are. Are wet. This can find the algae. You can't just find the algae at Kalakadi. No, no, you not find. It. It's going to die because it needs something to. It means it's one of the one of the creatures which they moved out of the soil. So they still they don't have that that surviving ability to live outside the soil. In animal, we talked about the ability which animals have gained so that they do not they they don't survive on the on water only. They can survive even outside the waters. So some are terrestrial, uh, the microscopic uh, oscillatoria sp, and this oscillatoria sp. I want you guys to be able to draw this oscillatoria sp species of algae. You need to after this lesson, you're going to make sure that you draw it and you submit this this oscillatoria sp. So you're going. You're, I want to to be exposed to these animals like this algae. I want you to be exposed to such animals in these creatures uh, 
so that when you see them on the labs, you, you don't get scared. But in labs, they're going to bring diagrams. You'll be seeing diagrams. And they're going to expect you to use a microscope. And that microscope, those microscopes are so old. The University of Botswana microscopes are so old, especially of the Faculty of Science. The microscopes which are working are for the Faculty of, of, of Health Sciences only. These are the, the ones which are new. But your microscopes are so old. They will tell you that draw this algae, and you see that this is an oxalatoria algae. Because you'll be having a picture in your mind. You don't have a time to stress. You just copy what you have in your mind. And there's no one who can tell you that what you've drawn is not true because it's what you have seen. What they have seen is not what you can see. I was, it, it, you might see the same shape, the same everything, like the same creature, but in, you may see it bluish, I can see it greenish. We have different conditions. So this is the oscillatoria SP. So when, but I want you to, like, to draw it into details. Uh, like more more you know, into into details this osi this osi toria species you see it so the morphological diversity the morphological diversity algae occurs in different forms morphological diversity there's dif there are difference in into the in, in that difference in development and in and in structure so some are unicellular, they are single cells with or without a flagella. Some algae will find them a single cell with or without, the, with a, without a flagella. Some are filamentous, cells forming chains. They are filamentous, they are in form of, of, of chains, they are in form of filaments. Form of filament. Some are colonial, several cells attached together, like the, the conobium. Fix the number of cells in a colony. They fix the number of cells in a colony. So some, uh, so in this in this chapter when we talk about the colonial, I hope you know what we are talking about because colonial means cells which are came, which are together. Like we in animal, we talk about the volvo. So we say there is a colonial flagellate. Oh, it's, okay, it's a colonial. So some algae are siphonaceous. They are tubular structures uh, with many nuclei. They are not divided into cells. And some are parenchymatous. The body are made up of cells like higher plants. Body made up of cells like higher plants. Large microalgae. Body made up of cells like higher plants. The large microalgae. The, the large microalgae. So these are their shapes, how they are. How you should expect to find them. So there are different shapes of. Uh, these are just the conobium, the, vol the volvox urines. You can say uh, our rings, our rings or urines, like urines. So you see that they can be close to 500 to 20,000 individual cells coming together. These are just the volvox. So if the, the, syphonic, the syphonicias, so these syphonicias structures are going to be drawing in your labs. You need to know these structures. But don't claim them like just to know like a siphonaceous structure know a definition so that you get you, you don't get uh, confused so the types of reproduction of alga we are going to stop into the types of reproduction i'm not going to go, go into different alga groups now i'll do it and i'll post the video in the morning so the different alga the the i mean the the types of reproduction they can be sexual or asexual so asexual, they can form by what you call fragmentation. They breaking away from the parent plant. So there's a parent plant, a fragment breaks away, a, frag a piece breaks away and they form. They can form. They can be formed by formation of spores. Spores. These are small, light, light of the light substances where they can just be taken by wind and they just dis distribute, and they can be sexual. That terms, these terms need to know them in that definition. I will ask them in, 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 in questions. Isogamy means fusion of equal size mortal gametes. Isogamy. Isogamy means fusion of equal size mortal gametes. The gametes are all moving and they are, they are, they are with equal size. Anisogamy, gametes are unequal, 
small male and the large female both motile is anisogamy anisogamy the female is is more is larger than the female but the the male but they are all they are all moving ogamy is motile female gamete fused with large stationary female gamete this is what is, this this is what is happening in the plants to sh to show you that the, these are ancestors of plants the 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 what do you call that plant the anthers the, the, the those spores there they are moving but the, but the female of a plant is not moving at all so this is organic characteristics and this organic characteristics we can even see it in in other metazoa organisms because this we believe that the phyto must must go for the phyto must go for us are the first to exist so the, the first is so they lead to all these kind of stuffs these are the characteristics which show that we share a common ancestry. We are from the same, same mother, which is the, that first protozoa which became a Volvox and became us. So I will stop here and I will continue my lessons and the next time. So remember to, to register with us online tuition uh, 76 plus, actually plus 267, plus 267. 7668201 and invite your friend if you see yourself getting learned in your friend is not learned is wrong invite them because you should understand concept together so that next year you understand to like you can help each other well